Well, greetings and salutations, everyone. Welcome back once again to the Farts and Crafts Show, where today we have part nine of Flashback, the quest for identity. I'm your host, Danjo, and uh, that didn't kill me for some reason, even though it did the other time. Strange. Um, hope you guys are doing well. Having a great day. Uh, we got the save. You know, I could even save it after I do this, but I never have a problem doing this. Uh, so I don't really see the point. Gotta do your thing on the other side. Please? Shit. Alright, fine, whatever. The one time. <laughs> I've literally done this like almost a dozen times today. This like little section. It's the first time I've taken damage. So yeah, I'm not gonna say no. That was the wrong button. That was some bullshit. I... I'm still super confused by their hitboxes. Shield is still at one. Uh, but yeah, we're, we're getting... Oh. Okay. It won't activate anymore, I guess. There we go. don't remember why that was necessary, uh, but it was. Um, okay, so this part. Uh, I'm just going to be extra cautious because I believe this is the save point from earlier. Yeah, it is. Okay, we're good. Um, I think that opened the door to the far left, I think. So we can just run and then automatically jump to the ledge here. Enemies don't respawn, thank frickin' Gorsh. Um... There we go. Charge the old shield. Oh, wait. That thing earlier, did I say that was the second most difficult thing in the game? It's, just, it's the third. Uh, there's one and two are still, uh, still to come. And this part, I would say, is probably the most difficult. What is it? Yeah. Yeah, it's the most difficult. Um, it's also the most finicky. Um, again, some cool, like, 
3D effects on 16-bit uh, hardware. Always cool to see. Definitely want to save. Um, and again, since enemies respawn... Or don't respawn. Except for this part. <laughs> coming up, Which is super weird. Uh, the game breaks its own rules quite a few times. Um... Yeah, this part sucks. Okay, so this is this is the this is the trick. So you have to keep shooting this thing uh, from the opposite sides. And uh, yeah, that's as annoying as it sounds. Um, but thankfully they get weaker. So now they're dying in one shot, thankfully. And this like this took me a while to figure out. Like you just have to keep hitting it from opposite sides. And I believe that did it. Yeah. So now they won't respawn. Um, but while you're damaging it, they keep respawning. How do I reopen that door? I think that did it. I need to make sure, though, because that, that's pretty important. Um, okay, good. And also, since that's done now, I still have two shield left. Damn. That was so efficient. Um, but again, I did that like... <laughs> that took me a lot of tries. So... Sorry I'm skipping some of the animations, guys. I'm just I'm trying to make good time. Um, I mean, we're mostly good to go, but there's still some very tricky portions coming up. Like I said, this is... Um, I've already done all of this. Like, not even... like like just earlier today like a couple hours ago <laughs> like so it's it's kind of fresh in my mind um and again key lock but we don't have the right key so Oh, come on, I can't even see you, dude. That's not cool. That's some bullshit. Same crap. Like... That's what I mean. It's like it shouldn't be difficult, but their hitboxes are so weird. And like if you can't I 
just so frustrating. Because, like, they can't, you can't just, you can't just go like, okay, this is how you beat them. No. It's, it's different. Like, in there. Like, sometimes you're good, sometimes you're not. And it's like, just standing up hurts you. What the? Not to mention, you can't see sometimes. Like, what the fuck even is that? Oh, shit! Come on, are you are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? the lamest fucking shit. Just the fact that you can't shoot them sometimes for no reason. Just like them standing up. It's... Uh, they're some of the worst enemies I've encountered in a retro game. Like not... not even kidding. No joke. Because it, it seems so arbitrary. Like, did I hit him? I don't know. How'd he hit me? Why did I roll right through? Like, I can sometimes. Uh-oh. Again, why? Sometimes, sometimes waiting helps. Sometimes waiting till the last second helps. But it's never the same. It's just, it just feels like the glitchiest, most annoying bullshit. That's, that's the best way I can describe it. It's a gl it's a glitchiest, most annoying bullshit. And yeah, there's two ledges up there. There's nothing up there. There's no reason for those ledges. It's so dumb. And like fighting, fighting these aliens too. Like that is one hundred percent why I'm going back and healing every time I do something. It's like cool. Can I go heal? It's just, just don't don't do what I did, guys. Just play this game on normal. Playing this game on expert is not worth it. You don't. As far as I know, I mean, I did it for the first time earlier today, and I was, like, ever. I've, I've never beat this game on expert difficulty before. I finally did it. I didn't rely on my save states. Like, sure, I made some. I didn't use them, though. And, like, it's just not worth it. It's just not. And I don't even know what this guy's for. Like, this one seems to just be here. Um, but yeah, this part really sucks too. Oh shit. That sucks. Okay, I really need to stay away from the wall a lot better than that.
Ah. Can't tell you how many times these guys killed me. There we go. That's why. That's why I went back to heal and saved. And also, they're they're the strongest aliens. Um, out of any of the aliens that you fight so far, they take more hits. Even though they look exactly the same. Like, maybe they're just out of memory. Like they're like, nope. Can't put any more stuff into the game, not even a pallet swap. Why did I do that? That was dumb. Oh, because the other way to measure it out. Just to be sure. Guys has to be almost dead. Come on, fuck. Okay, one of them. One of them's down. <gasps> On the last point of health. <laughs> yeah, dude. Um. I don't think there's any more enemies. I think that's it. I think those were the last guys you have to deal with. Oh my goodness, awesome. Oh, this is gonna be great. This is gonna be great. Oh my goodness, and, it, and I'm not, didn't even have to use a single save state. Awesome. Yeah, and I know this thing says it's a switch. It's not. An inner voice interrupts your thoughts. Trust me, son. Put the atomic charge here and flee as soon as it reaches the planet's core. Yeah, apparently your dad is talking to you telepathically, like at the end of Star Fox 64, which actually this predates. Um, trying to think of other... I mean, Star Wars, obviously. Like the days, like use the false Luke. Um, okay, so for real, this is what you do. You uh, you set it down, right there, and then I made this mistake. Uh, it's it's better just to play it safe, to like throw the teleporter thing. Because, uh, we're going to have another callback to uh, Super Metroid here. And the timing for this escape is unforgiving. Like, you have to be super fast. You can't... Like, right there, I wasted, like, a couple frames or whatever. have to like not screw up any of your actions essentially fuck okay that's fine like, sometimes you can get lucky on the like oh come on you can hurry okay there we go okay i should be okay in time which means i'm gonna stop save real quick since the game is letting me do it uh, you 
can also, I think this is another area you can softlock yourself. Um, like if you save without enough time to actually escape. This is the part where you have to jump. Okay, good. It could have been a little cleaner, but I think we're okay. And I'm gonna point something out here. Go ahead and freeze frame. Uh, if you guys if you guys want, it's gonna be hard to tell. Uh, elevator, which you can't really see. So you have to hold A and press up. I died like three times before I looked it up and I was like, that's my story, just the way I lived it. Hey Connor, you're an ugly fuck. The galaxy I'm in today doesn't appear on any of our navigation charts. It's impossible for me to calculate my return trajectory. probably drift in space for a very long time. And that's it, guys. Fucking did it. Yay! Flashback team. Yes, awesome. Delphine Software, you amazing people. So we have plenty of time, so I'm just gonna let this play. Uh, I'm gonna shut up because this music is great. This ending sequence is awesome. I love it.
Hell yeah. Freaking awesome. Code Cygnus. Score 260,444. Yeah, so... If you guys want, um... Because, like, the passwords are for, like, the level select, basically, and for, like, if you, for hard, or, or, I guess, expert, or normal, um, and yeah, that's Flashback, everybody. It's freaking one of my favorite 16-bit games ever, and today was the first time I've ever beat it on expert mode without really using cheats but I had the internet <laughs> to figure some stuff out um, when I got absolutely stumped like shooting the door like what or like the lift at the very end is like hey, the, 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 that's an elevator I, okay I mean you, you can't even see it you know it's anyway Questionable design choices on the last level, but other than that, it's it's flashback. It's a great game, uh, and one of my favorite things about this game is it has uh, a music test. So if you want to listen to that dope ass uh, OST, that's a way to do it. And like. For soundtracks from the 16-bit era, this is definitely one of my favorites. Um, it's just super good. And like, the soundtrack itself. Like, it depends on the version, right? Um... Because, like I said, this is the... This is the Mega Drive slash Genesis version. Um... So, to my ears... The music sounds richer. Um... And this is another thing they kind of screwed up in the recent port. Um... Just like the music in general, the sound effects, um, and kind of the control scheme too. Like I have it on the Switch, I have it on the PS4, um, and this might just be because of how I'm used to playing the game. But to me, it, it really just feels right, the Sega Genesis controller. Um, I mean, the game is built around essentially the three button like, layout. And yeah, the original three button pad for the Genesis, yeah, it was very limited. You had a start button, A, B, and C, and that's it. Like, Super Nintendo had four face buttons hand start and select, and L and R. So like, four more inputs, you know, um, but yeah, the D-pad, man, I, I just, here's the thing, I love both of them, it's, it's really hard for me to pick, like, between, like, the Genesis D-pad, uh, which I think was just improved, Saturn, and which is kind of like cemented nowadays as like um, kind of the better design for certain games, like fighting games especially. Um, there we go. Um, like a lot of fight pads, like the premium ones and stuff. Uh, have a design somewhat like the Genesis or the Saturn pad, 
Um, because yeah, it makes rolls easier. It makes a lot of stuff a lot easier. Um, it just feels good. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of games on the Genesis where I think it just sounds like this game specifically too. Um, like this was also released on the Super Nintendo. And I would love if, Nin if Nintendo actually added it to the Switch, like Super Nintendo like games. That'd be awesome. Um, I don't think they're going to because the the recent port is on the eShop. Um, but I I just think the Genesis version sounds better than the Super Nintendo version. Um, and I'm pretty sure all the modern ports, all the, uh, yeah, we heard that one. There's the longer ones. Interestingly enough, um, some games, uh, like retro games, that had a music test or a sound test, um, have some unused music in these kind of menus. Um, and some of them are just like short clips, but some of them are actually like sample loops. So they'll just like keep playing. Um, I think this is one of them, I believe. Um, yeah, and then there's games that were originally on the Super Nintendo, but I prefer on other platforms. Um, like Final Fantasy is one of them. Final Fantasy V and VI. Uh, like, I love the originals, but like, the music is better on the PlayStation 1. Um, the actual like translation script, like kind of graphics, sort of, are better on the Game Boy Advance. Um, and the modern ports are just terrible because <laughs> they're based on the mobile ports that Square Enix did, and then they're just not good. Um, where are we at? Thirty-five minutes. Cool. Um, but yeah, what else? Um, oh, I think this is the credits music. Or no, this is the mission music, right? Yeah, I think this is like the the mission, like accepting the missions uh, through different jobs. Music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this one just loops as well. plays on the game's boot. Is it the whole thing, or just... Yeah, no, it's just the other one. Um... But yeah, that was flashback, everybody. 
Uh, so yeah, let me know what you guys thought about this one in the comment section. Um, this is what, part 8 or 9, I think? It's a finale and didn't even go over time, so that's cool. Uh, but thank you all for being here. Uh, greatly appreciate uh, being able to do these uh, retro episodes for you guys. Um, where I'm going to be doing a bunch of other games. Uh, some shorter games for a while. Uh, until I run out of shorter games. Basically. Um, but yeah, I'll get, to, I'll get to some of the longer ones eventually. Uh, those might be their own proper series though, depending on how how long they uh, how long they're actually going to be. Um, I'm really not sure. But um Yeah, I hope you guys had a good time. And a very special thanks to our TFAX channel members. Um old cranky gamer and retro VHD. Thank you guys so much for choosing to support the show a bit more directly. If you guys want to learn more about that, check out that join button down below. While you're there, maybe click the like button if you like this kind of thing. And uh, subscribe, you know, if you haven't already. That, that'd be really cool. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get going. It's time for the end of the episode. Have a beautiful day, everybody. Many blessings on your journey, wherever it might take you. And... Um, until next time, take care, stay safe.